If you have traveled to India or somehow if you know about Hinduism, then one thing must have definitely come in your mind that why does Lord Ganesha has an elephant's head? So in this video, I am going to share with you the complete information about the same and also the importance of the festival Ganesh Chaturthi. So before we begin with the video, let me introduce myself. My name is Suraj, I am a travel enthusiast and I have been a tour guide for over 9000 people from all around the world. Now own an initiative of boosting women empowerment in India by training and employing female tour guides. Lord Ganesha is one of the most popular deities of Hinduism. He is known as the God of Wisdom and Remover of Obstacles. Many Hindus across the globe pray to him before taking an exam or when they just need a bit of luck. Lord Ganesha is depicted with a golden complexion, a big belly and unlike other gods, an elephant head. But it also makes people wonder how the Hindu deity got such a unique body. Lord Ganesha was created by Goddess Parvati who was a wife of Lord Shiva and they both lived on the Mount Kailasa, a perfect place for the divine couple. One day, Goddess Parvati wanted to take a bath and she found out there was no one to guard the door. So she made a statue of a boy with a turmeric paste and by using her divine power, she gave life to the boy and named him as Ganesha. Goddess Parvati gave Ganesha an order to guard the door and not to let anybody inside until she is done with the bath. While Goddess Parvati was bathing, Lord Shiva returned home from the forest and he found out he was stopped by a boy to enter his home. Lord Shiva explained to the boy that she is his wife and he can enter the house. But Lord Ganesha was very much determined and he was not letting Lord Shiva to enter the house. After a long argument with Ganesha, in the heat of the moment, Lord Shiva took his lethal weapon known as Trishul and cut off Lord Ganesha's head. After bathing, Goddess Parvati started crying when she saw her son is dead. She made her husband realize about his mistake and asked him to make his son alive back. So both of them carried Ganesha's body to Lord Brahma who is the creator of the universe. Lord Brahma said, Ganesha can be made alive but only with somebody else's head and all this thing need to happen before the sunset. Acting upon this, Lord Shiva ordered his army to go in the forest and bring the head of the first living being they see. But unfortunately, the army only found a baby elephant in the forest and they brought the head of the elephant. And as time was running out, they had to make Ganesh alive with an elephant head. When Ganesha was alive back, all the gods and goddesses from the heaven blessed Ganesha with some special power to make him a special god. Since then, Ganesha is known of God of good luck and wisdom and you will see his idol in every Hindu home and temple. So this is a story how Lord Ganesha ended up having an elephant's head. In the second section of the video, I will be explaining you the importance of the Ganesh Chaturthi festival. Since the ancient times, Lord Ganesha was worshipped by every Hindus in their homes. But what made the whole community to come together and celebrate the festival called Ganesh Chaturthi? In the later 19th century in the colonial India, Indians were often imposed with some kind of curfews to slow down the independence revolution. But in 1893, one of the social reformer and a great scholar called Lokmanya Bal Gangadhar Tilak invented this festival in order to trick the officials. He said to the officials that this is the festival of 10 days and the whole community need to come together and pray to Lord Ganesha for the prosperity. In this 10 days festival, all the secret messages were passed to the whole community which they were not able to do otherwise. Since that day, a new festival was invented in India called Ganesh Chaturthi and the idol of Lord Ganesha is put in the pandal for 10 days and the whole community comes to celebrate. On the 10th day of the festival, the idol is immersed in the sea. So this is the complete information about the festival and why Lord Ganesha has an elephant's head. If you like the information and if you like to see the next video, then subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and relatives. After this, I am going to release the part 2 video in which I will film the live action of the celebration. A final update from my side is, do visit our website if you would like to read more blogs about India or simply want to take our tours.